Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm shining a light on ordinary photos to make them something really special. 3D printing continually makes things that were previously impossible possible, and one of those things is a lithophane. Now, a lithophane is an amazing thing because when you look at the texture of it, uh, before you put a light through it, it looks pretty ordinary and boring. But when you shine the light through, that's when your photo really comes to life in a way that it just doesn't in any other format. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a lithophane of your own from your own photos and how easy it is to make your photo shine. Stick around to the end. I've got a great idea to add some color to the whole project. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is head over to lithophanemaker.com, which is a great website with many different varieties of ways to make a lithophane. I really enjoyed uh, this site. There are a few out there that are available, but this one really has gone the extra mile to make it easy to understand, give you many options, and really make lithophane creation as simple and, and easy as possible. Here we're going to choose the flat lithophane click that, then opens up the lithophane maker tool where you choose your picture first of all. And then once you've selected the picture that you want to use, simply include that there. You choose whether or not you want to frame. You choose the dimensions and how big you'd like the finished lithophane to be. And really the selection process updates on the right hand side in those images showing you how big, what it'll actually look like when it's finished. It's really an incredible tool. I found it to be super simple and it lets you crop everything, uh, edit everything, change the resolution. For the most part I left everything default settings on this particular one and I just chose to go with the flow of what the suggested recommended settings were. You can crop your image a little bit by adjusting the uh, X and Y or left and right up and down settings and that lets you frame the picture exactly as you want it as it will display there. There's even a helpful YouTube video to show you how to navigate the instruction. When you're done you put in your email address and then create the STL file. Once the STL is created, save it, add it to your slicing software, and you can begin printing it. It's just that easy. I believe it took about 8 to 10 hours to print this, so it really does take a long time. And as you see the image taking place, it doesn't really look that impressive, but you can still see some of the detail of the photos that I included. Again, when it's done, you can see it really doesn't look that impressive at all until you shine the light through it and then it really comes to life with all of the detail and intricacies that were in the original photo. Let me also show you what it looks like to print a light box. Now for my daughter's birthday, she loves kittens and cats, so I decided to do a kitten theme for her. I found some pictures online and I included those and then created the light box lithophane. I just needed to adjust the framing for all of the pictures so it captures the part that I want and just adjusting the X and Y coordinates here in order to get it framed just the way I like. And then once again you just create the STL files and save them to your computer. You're able to begin slicing the model and getting it the way you want it. Now here it is in Simplify 3D and you can see again it doesn't look that great from the outside but uh, it's really going to look great when you uh, light it up and you can also see the top there is laid off to the side in a vertical position. Now it's very important to print these in a vertical orientation because that's how you get the resolution out of it. If you were to print it flat, you would be limited to the width of the nozzle. So in my case, 0.4 millimeters would be the greatest detail you could have. By putting it vertically and by printing it in the settings that I did at 0.1 millimeters, you're now getting a much finer resolution to the actual print and the picture will look that much clearer and sharper when it's finished. Now printing this light box, I chose to go 150 millimeter cube, which is about six inches. And now what you're gonna see is that hours and hours and hours of printing 
It took 74 hours to print this model, but in the end, I still think it was absolutely worth it. I would highly recommend it. When it's done, again, what you can see, it doesn't look amazing. You can see the texture of the print. You can basically see what it looks like, but it doesn't look that great from just that. But lit up, it looks fantastic. All of the detail pops and it looks even better in real life on camera. It just doesn't capture as well with the light but it looks sharp, all the details come through. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like to use a color changing bulb in a remote, and that will allow it to phase shift through all of these different colors, which is the twist that I put on this to make it really come to life and look amazing sitting in a corner of your room or on a nightstand. It really does come to life in the dark. It looks even uh, better, although the camera doesn't cooperate, but man, it looks sharp as all of these details continue to shift in and out as the color changes. I think my daughter will love it. Happy birthday. So now you see how simple it is with today's technology to make your pictures come to life in a way they never have before. I hope you'll consider trying out your 3D printer with these types of prints. I certainly will be making many more for my friends and family down the road. If you enjoy the videos we're making, please consider subscribing. Let us know in the comments what project you'd like to see next. And let us know uh, what you like about the channel, what we can improve, what we can do differently, so we can continue to make it better as it grows. Until next time in all your DIY projects, don't be afraid to be balder.